the Salute Bottle Shop located on North Davidson. Glenn's inside getting ready to talk to Jason Glenn, the proprietor of this bottle shop. Let's go on in and see what they're up to. So we're here in Salud, uh, in the Noda District of Charlotte, and here with Jason Glunt, the uh, owner-operator. Hello. Welcome. Great to have you here. Thank you. Good. Glad you guys came. So, Jason, you guys have been here in Salud for, in the Noda District for almost a year now. Yeah. So tell us about the bottle shop and how it's going. Um, everything's going re very well. Um, we're glad. I was very happy to open here in another neighborhood. This is where I live. Uh, I've lived here about four years. Lived in Charlotte for a while. Um, I actually grew up here. I'm um, originally from Michigan, but I uh, came down south with my parents when I was young. So I've uh, kind of grown southern, you know, getting, eating the good southern food and all that stuff. Um, but I'm very happy to be in the Noda neighborhood. Um, we are a bottle shop, but also we have taps so you can hang out if you want, relax. Um, the best way to describe it, I would say, is we're a coffee shop, but for craft beer. Great, great. Uh, so um, we try to uh, obviously push a lot of the local beers. Uh, people want that. That's what they want. We have uh, three breweries on this block, in 10-block uh, radius, uh, Noda, Birdsong, and Heist. So um, we really try to push the North Carolina beer along with the other uh, small American craft breweries. Uh, we also try to focus um, on developing people's palates. We love selling, like, sours and teaching people about more complex beers as well. So. Oh, that's great. That's very important because for people that don't drink craft beer, they're, they're often put off by it. They don't yes. know what, what they're getting into. Um, I find when it comes, especially with sours and beer, uh, a lot of the Belgian beers, you get some of the wine drinkers. You kind of get them to transfer over because those beers are very tart and dry, complex, very similar to wines. Sure. And then you kind of move them over to different areas. And then they'll get tired of that style and they want to try something new. Then they'll get tired of that style and they want to try something new. Um, next thing you know, they're a craft beer drinker. So uh, we've not been to the uh, Express location, and it's newer than this location. Yes, we opened a small, basically a to-go kind of kiosk. It's inside the uh, 7th Street Public Market downtown, uh, a couple miles down the road here. Um, there's along a bunch of other local purveyors. Uh, we have a cheese shop, a great coffee shop, um, a wine shop as well. So we're inside that market, and it's a very community-oriented local market, and we're definitely glad to be a part of that. Um, but it's, very, it's a smaller location. There's no drafts or anything. It's just to go. Um, it's kind of a mini version of what we got going on here. Okay, so great. It's been going on since August. So that's, going on. that's great, too. So we're very happy to have two locations here in Charlotte. Good, good. So how did you come to be in this business? Do you have a beer background or a retail background? Yeah, or retail, a uh, bar background. I, uh, I went to school here at Queens University in Charlotte. Um, I worked in uh, bars pretty much after I graduated. You know, couldn't really find a corporate job, so I worked in restaurants. Um, I uh, helped create the drink list at Cowfish, which is a, a popular local restaurant. It's coming to Raleigh actually soon um, here in Charlotte. And I worked for uh, the owner, Marcus, there for a while. Um, I took a corporate job actually about two years ago at a financial company. Um, you know, got my Series Seven. Thought I was gonna be serious. You know, about it. I lasted four months. Okay. I think I just not for you. Not for me. I can't. I couldn't sit still. So, and I had this idea in my mind. You know, I love craft beer, and I live here in Noda. I was like, we have breweries, we have great beer bars, but we don't have retail like a beer retail in Noda. I mean, obviously, Charlotte had great beer stores before. You know, Common Market Brawleys were here before. They had kind of established the beer retail scene here in Charlotte. But there was nothing in Noda. So I was like, this is the one thing that's missing. And I was like, why don't we add taps? You know, let people hang out for a little bit, too, if they want. Um, have a beer by their shop. Or just hang out and talk beer. We have a TV. You can watch a game if you want. So um, a lot of times during the summers, we have the food trucks come out, local food trucks. And people can eat and enjoy themselves so um luckily it's been everything's been working well so far and we just hope to keep growing and expanding that's great for we've referenced noda a couple of times for our viewers statewide who don't know what noda is or what the community of noda is talk about the community and what noda is noda is a very important part of charlotte um it's very soulful there's a lot of uh, artists very you know it stands for north davidson, north davidson because it's on street, north sorry. davidson yeah. street yes it's about we're about I don't know, two miles from uptown. Okay. Um, so it's a straight shot from downtown. It's an older neighborhood. I mean, and when I was in high school here, it was, it was a rough neighborhood. And there's still parts. We're still growing. We need some more development. But we're getting there. But it's a very, uh, it started out as a, in the late late 90s, uh, early 2000s. Art, a lot of artists moved in, and they started creating art galleries and sculptures. And uh, Boudreaux's actually moved in. They were one of the first restaurants. And, of course, Cabo Fish Taco kind of put us back on the map mm -hmm. and uh, the area's grown now there's a lot of uh, older homes that are remodeled and very beautiful and it's a uh, hopefully soon we are getting the light rail it's going to come through the neighborhood oh great so 
Um, that should also uh, develop a lot more growth. But it's a very artistic, um, local-oriented community. There's nothing corporate in the neighborhood at all. There's no chains, no like fast food restaurants. And will it stay that way? I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. That's the goal. And I think it will. We'll see. Uh, as, you know, you can't tell the future, but I really hope so. That's what makes us very unique. Um, it's a great neighborhood. So if you're ever anybody in the state that comes to Charlotte, you definitely got to come by Noda. Um, especially for beer. I mean, we have growlers in the neighborhood. They were voted the top 100 beer bar in America. Yeah. Uh, Revolution, great tap list. Um, of course, like I said earlier, Noda, Birdsong Heist, three breweries in a 10-block radius. You know, so you can't beat that. So. And he's a great promo for everybody else. Um, now, you have some special events here yes. so that our viewers kind of know what to look for, what kind of events, and um, what kind of, what do you try to do here? Usually every Wednesday at 7, we'll do a tasting with a particular brewery. So we'll take that brewery, they'll bring a rep in, we'll get some specialty stuff on tap, and we'll kind of just teach them about that certain brewery. Um, we're developing now, we're trying to do more like style specific. Mm-hmm. Uh, so soon we're going to do like a sour tasting, and then we'll do maybe a barrel-aged stout tasting. And then we might do just like a North Carolina beer tasting, and then just a Michigan beer tasting. So we have like different styles and things we just want to teach people, almost like a beer education. Right. Um, Is that West Wednesday nights? That's all, Wednesday all nights all at seven. We always do it at seven. We we get started. We get busy here in the neighborhood a little bit later than most mm-hmm. places. You know, it's a, it's a very like I said earlier, a very unique neighborhood. Um, so nighttime it gets kind of gets cranking around That's here. Right. So listen, we appreciate you being with us <laughs> no, today. No taking a few minutes out of your time. Uh, no problem, anytime. And we're right here in the uh, Noda District again with Jason Glunt at the uh, Salud. Salud. And we appreciate that. Yeah. And until next time, um, remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars North Carolina. Thanks, Jason. Cheers.